Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a shockwave transition in Vegas Pro 16. Now to do this we are going to be creating our own shockwave, there's going to be no green screens which in my opinion is a lot better and then all we're going to be doing is adding a slight flash transition just to clean off the overall transition. It's really simple, let's get into it. So here we are in Vegas Pro 16 and as you'll see on screen right now I have this little clip here and then I have a thumbnail to my previous Vegas Pro 16 tutorial. Now the first thing we're going to be doing of course is find where we want the transition to take place. Now it's pretty obvious where I want it, we want it coming from this clip to this clip. Then what we're going to be doing is right clicking on the side and select insert video track so it's above both of them videos. The next thing you're going to do is head over to media generators. If you don't see it all you need to do is head over to view, select window and then you want to select media generators. Make sure it is ticked. Now from media generators you're going to select color gradient and from color gradient you're going to select the elliptical ring. Now just drag and drop this above on your video wherever you would like to and that's what we're going to get for now. And from here you want to X out of it. We will be coming back to it. For now what you want to do is select compositing mode on that track and you want to select custom. And from here you're going to be selecting Vegas height map. So just double click it and it'll be added and now this is what we get. The first thing we're going to be doing where it says edge pixel handling we're going to be changing from transparent to wrap pixels. So you can see we now have the floor going up here and we also have the sky here. You may not like that look um, and if you don't the way you would adjust it is bringing down the elevation. So you can see just like that. For me though I'm going to keep it up so I think it keep, keep creates more of a cool effect. And from here we can X out of that and now what we want to do is adjust the uh, length of this. So this is how long you want it to last. So of course we're going to line it up right where the transition will be taking place which is in the center of our two clips. Then we can come back and you can see this is now a two second transition which in my opinion is too long for this type of transition. So I'm just going to bring it forward like this. So now we're at 12.24, the center is 14.14 14. so it's about one and a half seconds this transition and I'm going to keep it like that. We're now going to press this button here which is generated media. Alternatively you can right click it and select edit generated media. Now from here you want to do is select the animation button. Then you want to select this button right here which is match event length. So select that. As you can see this timeline now matches this timeline right here. Now this first keyframe you're going to drag it all the way across to the end and you're going to come to the first keyframe which will be here right at the beginning and where it says number one you're going to bring this in. Number two you're going to bring it all the way in as well and same with number three just bring it to the center like this. Now if I X out of this and play this through, this is currently what we have. So you can see we get that shockwave look already. Now what we're going to be doing is Xing out of that. Then we're going to press Ctrl C. We're going to come to the right, press Ctrl V. Just select OK. Now what we're going to do is right click and select Reverse. So now if I play this through, you can see the shockwaves are set up just like this. So the final touch is adding the flash just to smoothen off the transition overall. So with that head over to transitions and you want to select flash. Now you can pick any flash you would like to. I'm just going to drag and drop on the default in between the two clips, not the two shock waves. That's important. Then you can see it's been added. Now it's right in the center. This is how long it currently is. I believe it is one second and I'll play it through for you. So you can see that's what we get. If you want the flash to be quicker of course just bring it in from both sides so one side's not longer than the other. Now play it through again. You can see that's now what we get. Really simple, really quick transition to make and of course it is a custom transition so not many people would use this.